name is Ray Mackey, and I have this year at the gathering uh, of my new True Grit that I built. This is a Hankinson design. Uh, it's 27 foot long. We're powered with a 60 horsepower Honda outboard. That's what we're using for power. We have 80 gallon of fuel on board, 80 gallon of water. Um, weight wise, it's about 5,500 pounds. And cost to build, I haven't a clue and I never intend to find out. <laughs> I have all the bills, but I don't want to total them up. So uh, it, it's a good chunk of money, but still probably a third of what it would cost to buy a, a factory boat of, of similar size. So. We'll go ahead and I'll give you a little tour of the boat, just try to give you an idea of what we have here. Uh, all the way forward is a berth, uh, handles two people up there. Everyone that looks at it says, is it long enough? And yes it is. Uh, it's about, let's see, six foot four inches in length from head to toe on it, so works fine for my wife and I with, with no problem whatsoever. Um, storage underneath the berth, that was one of the goals with this boat was to try to come up with as much storage as possible in it and use the space that was available. This is a composting head toilet that we have in here. There are no holding tanks other than the tank in the very front of the unit you can see that holds the liquid. And otherwise the solid waste goes into a container that's right there that with peat moss in it and it is stirred in there and actually changes to compost. So far we've been very pleased with it. It works very well. Uh, no holding tanks to dump, no odor from it, just absolutely amazing. On the starboard side opposite the head is a hanging closet where we have space there that obviously shirts and whatever can be hang, hung jackets. Uh, below that, I actually built that as a dressing seat where we can sit on the little area here and put on shoes, pants, whatever works out with more storage underneath. Uh, here we have the, the two helm seats more or less. Here's where the Admiral sits right here and it's got her own seat and little work area up here she prefers. And cooling fans, because that is one issue. We don't have air conditioning at this point, but many more summers like this one and we may have to, to make the move to do that. Uh, the other side is the, the true helm seat with the controls. I have GPS and depth finders as you can see. Uh, it is equipped with autopilot, which has been very nice so far, just because of the slow speed. Uh, we're cruising about seven mile an hour with the boat, uh, burning a gallon an hour at that speed. Top speed's about 12, 12 and a half miles per hour. Moving farther on back, we have the, the galley area. And well, along here we have the, the AC power panel is here also. In addition, there is a propane alarm system. I do have propane gas on here that runs the refrigerator, and there is an alarm system to control that. If there would be a leakage, yeah, there's two sensors that it automatically would shut the propane system down if it senses that. Um, the sink there, naturally. Microwave oven, which, which we need to have. It'll run off of uh, the inverter or the shore power. We also have a small Honda 2000 generator that can be hooked up and ran. Um, a lot of storage space. That was one of the goals with the boat, to have enough storage space here to, to keep the things that we, we want to bring along. On the other side is the table, and it has wings that flip up and down, and one of our all goals that we had were to have comfortable chairs to sit in. And now we're at the back end of the salon, all the way back, and what we have here is my wife's favorite feature of this boat, and that is the shower. We, I did incorporate this where we have a separate stand-up shower, so we can get in here and take care of the business as necessary, but it, it's very nice just to have that on board, which I, we don't have on the other boat. Now. And on this side is the refrigerator, in which we keep all the good stuff in to keep it cold. It is propane powered, and I realize that a lot of people feel that this is a horrible no-no on a boat, and I, I know that, and I went in with my eyes open. That's why we have the propane alarm for one of the systems. So this is working very well for us so far. Uh, below the deck here, we have a pretty good amount of storage area, and I'll just flip these back and open one of the, the hatches up. This is a shallow V type hull, but still we're high enough that it does give us a pretty good area, as you can see, for, for storage, and it goes up underneath the, each side. And there is another small compartment right back here behind me on the other side of the frame. 
And we're all the way aft here in the cockpit area. And we built in a, a small table here where we can eat outside, which is one of the things we, we a goal that we had so we could sit outside, have meals, so on down the line. I also incorporated in quite a bit of storage. All these boxes open up for storage underneath. Uh, this one is where normally we do have the Honda generator. It sits in there and then in compartment there. On this side is, are the propane tanks. And this is a sealed container vented to the outside to, to meet all the requirements that you need to have for propane. But we have two of the 20 pound bottles of propane in here. Uh, looking at the outside of the boat, um, it's all painted with Pettit uh, Easy Poxy is uh, the entire hull, just two different colors. I have a windlass installed, uh, handling a 22 pound claw type anchor. Uh, there also is, uh, well naturally the car compartment to handle the, the anchor rope is down in there. All the hatches that are built, there are hatch all over the berth, two hatches up over the helm seats are all homemade. We've got vinyl rub rails down the side which are very useful in, in locking situations and antennas on top, VHF, the television antennas up there also for the, for the television as well as the AM FM antenna. All right, thanks for coming aboard. I appreciate the time you've taken to, to take a look at the boat. We're, we're very proud of it obviously and working very well for it.